hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited for today's video because as you all know i am a publishing a creative writing student currently doing my ma and i think that's a pretty valid reason to have a look at some bookshops and there's been a few that i've been seeing going around on social media that i've just been like right i need to go there at some point in my life and i actually went to two of my dream bookshops this week as well as a few others and i want to kind of share my experience in those shops the atmosphere and what it was like interacting with those booksellers so i hope you enjoy she was like a shot of espresso she's like being bathed in sunlight She's incredibly energetic and enthusiastic and she had this sense of play and fun which was incredibly exciting. So the first bookshop I went to was Word on Water at, at King's Cross. It's about a seven to eight minute walk from the station and it is basically a bookshop on water and it is stunning. Like as soon as you arrive there you see this giant boat it's got books on the outside, it's got books just all around the walls and inside, but what I really loved the most about it was the atmosphere. It was very homely, very comfy, there was a fire going on in, in the back in the corner. I'm not gonna lie, I too had to get a little bit sick with the way it was kind of bobbing up and down the water, but that's just the me thing. I don't do too great with boats but either way it was stunning. The interior just kind of, it was almost like a time capsule of this what like of this world where you could just escape and read there are places to sit if you wanted to you know just like have a little bit of a longer read of a book it was actually surprisingly roomy like there were quite a few people on that boat at some point and we and you know it wasn't too bad to kind of navigate there's a children's corner in the back as well which was so cute there was like a little mini chair there and overall the entire atmosphere just kind of took you out of, out of reality and it was stunning i'll put some videos here of what the inside looked like there was a dog that came on at some point and there was a little kid actually who as soon as she was on there she was like this is amazing and i was like girl i know it is it what because it was it, it really felt like i was in this kind of dream bookshop and i loved it and i did end up buying a book let me get it so i bought norwegian wood by murakami it's been on my tbr for forever and i wasn't gonna buy a book at first i initially just went there to go there and i wanted to also buy if i can get it i also bought a really cute tote it says word on water and then it's got like the picture of the boat on the back which is really cute and it was like 10 pounds for the tote but it actually is pretty good material and it's actually quite sturdy so i got this and i got this book normally i wouldn't buy a book because i know they tend to be pricey and this particular copy wasn't particularly cheap but it's a place i've been wanting to go to, go to for forever and this book is on my tbr so i thought do you know what like why not and my experience with the booksellers was he was really really lovely i asked if he had a copy of lolita and he literally got up out of his seat because he's not on the boat he's like outside of the boat and he was really really helpful he had a little look around the entire store and then came back and was like we don't have it but if you're around we can order it in for you which i thought was great um, so if you are around and i know they hold a lot of events too he did say that they probably sold their copy of lolita i don't know if i mentioned i was trying to look for lolita the copy of Lolita they had probably got sold on the weekend so just so you're aware weekends are probably the busiest times the time me and my friend went was around like 12 30 1 p.m ish and it was relatively like not too too busy but there was like a moment in the middle when in when we were there where it did get a little bit packed but you could still kind of navigate and move around it and we got some cute pictures and some cute videos which was really lovely so my experience there was great if you want to just kind of escape reality a little bit and almost be taken back it almost feels like a, a book nook like that is what i would imagine being in like a real life book nook to be like and me and my friend were both like at some point yeah we should totally live on boats <laughs> so yeah that was my experience on words words on water definitely worth the hype that i saw on social media and 
definitely check it out you don't even need to buy a book you could literally just walk about oh and they're cashless as well because i know a few of you will be wondering but yeah they are cashless and then the next bookstore we went to after that was i'm, pr I'm pretty sure you must have seen this on bookstagram the most because it's just such an aesthetically pleasing store but it was daunt books and I filmed the whole like me walking in and like going up to that iconic view which I want to start a video here and uh, the pictures I took here it was honestly me and my friend we literally had a moment where we just stood at the top on the top floor looking down all the books and I'm not gonna lie I got a little bit emotional I was like this bookshop has been on my like Pinterest board for years and you know when you visit a place and you're like scared it's not gonna live up to the hype that was my fear by visiting this one but it really does live up to the hype and it's a lot bigger it looks small on the outside but when you go inside it is huge there's about I think four floors so there's like a basement then the floor you enter in on and then okay maybe there's three floors actually like the third floor and the views from the top floor are insane the booksellers are so lovely i'm currently working on a project at uni and i've been looking for book recommendations which is why i've been talking to a lot of booksellers and the bookseller there was so lovely with his recommendations that i did end up buying a few of them and i was really surprised at how uh what well organized it was not surprised but um I didn't expect it to be so like this specific area is for this and this specific area was for this and this floor is for this. I really loved Daunt Books. The booksellers were so lovely in helping me find some books for the project I'm working on and it was a very pinch me moment being there because I have had this on my Pinterest board for years now and I thought oh, I, I, you know like if I have time I'll go there or you know if i have money i'll go there um but i'm so glad that i went and these are the books that i actually picked up as i said i was looking for lolita and the reason i've been looking for lolita is because i started cleopatra and frankenstein and i just knew i needed to read lolita first just to kind of get a general sense of I don't know like if it's in the same vibe as Lolita I might as well read Lolita first if that makes sense then I almost have this foundation of comparison although I don't want to compare the two books but you know like it's a good kind of starting point so I've got Lolita which I've been looking for for quite a while to be fair I've been trying to thrift it but in the end the fact that I got it from Dawn Books I'm actually very happy with so I got Lolita I also got The Great or oh, Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead the bookseller explained that it was there's two different timelines going on one's a pilot one's like a a movie star a hollywood star a marriage portrait as well which is a hardback and it was very pricey i'm not gonna lie with both daunt books and word of words on water both shops because they're independent they were quite pricey so if you are on a budget i wouldn't recommend going to those but if you just kind of want to get a general sense of the vibe and you have self-control um definitely go check it out um you don't have to obviously buy books but i am someone who is very sentimental and i've been wanting to go to those bookshops for so so long that i was like it would be such a shame if i don't leave here without a book or a bag which speaking of because i spent because i spent about almost 40 pounds on those books because as i said it was quite pricey i did actually get this tote for free which my the one thing that i did want from daunt books because i around my uni i see so many girls walking around with these tote bags or the other one i was like i need to get this tote so i got this tote for free it says daunt books and it's obviously like the inside of it it's stunning love it um so if you spend 40 and above you get this tote for free so those were the two bookshops i went to on tuesday and i wish i vlogged it but you can see my reels and stuff on social media so if you follow my bookstagram at rowan.book.corner on instagram so check it out there or check my tiktok i've made a few little reels and and videos of my experience there 
and what else and so then the next day i've been wanting to go to mag culture which i i collect vogue magazines as much as i love books i also really love magazines ever since i was a kid and i watched ever wears prada been obsessed with the magazine industry and to be honest a large part of my career journey has been working towards being a journalist until i kind of realized perhaps that's not the path so much that i want to be on anymore and i want to be more of a creative writer and but i do still have a very very much appreciation for cuisines so i went to mag culture so i just realized my glasses are like reflecting the light so i'm just gonna like chill back here but i went to mag culture i'm gonna put a video up here it's right next to city university on st john street and it's not that hard to miss actually it's literally a straight line from angel station if you are around kind of north london and the music in there is 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend and the magazines there honestly i was like i didn't know this many types and variations of magazines existed and it made me appreciate creativity and art in a completely different way and in, in a completely different form because i've been surrounding myself with words and books i forget how much how much creativity goes into photography and the design layout of a you know of a spread so it was really lovely to explore these different things from magazines for writers to magazines for political issues for transgender representation there was a really cool one where it was pink the cover was pink but it had a kind of overlay that went on that was gray and had like he she they pronouns kind of printed around it that was really cool they have a nice little spot where you could sit and kind of flip through and some old editions as well different magazines but yeah it was so lovely in there and definitely worth checking out if you do love magazines you do love art photography maybe even movies i know they had quite a few movie magazines there so definitely worth checking out and the last bookstore i went to was waterstones in piccadilly circus which i know is like one of the biggest waterstones in the uk i believe there was like three four floors no there was five floors there was like a bar on top i would honestly if a man was like right book date idea we're gonna go to the bar get some drinks and then book shopping i would want to marry him then and there that is like when next time someone's like what's your ideal date i'll literally just say waterstones piccadilly that is it one of my modules at uni is how to make a book and our teacher assigned us to have a look at the children's section of waterstones piccadilly because it's huge and we had a lot of fun going around there on that floor it was on the second floor there was the children's section with all these different books from you know your classics the hunger caterpillar the rainbow fish paddington bear winnie the pooh all that stuff there was those classics to newer ones like look up um we also saw lantana which is the publisher that my module lecturer leader um works for so that was really cool and then also on that floor is ya teen you're kind of younger i would say up to like 16 year old reads and that was really cool to explore and i did pick up a book called love boat love boat in taipai taipai i hope i'm pronouncing that right and i i liked the premise of it but i'm not gonna lie i did return it because it was really really young and it was ya but i think it was really young ya and it was a little bit cliche of her being you know like a a, a dancer but she is being forced to go to med school because she's asian and all of it. like it just felt very cliche and, and the writing style was quite young for me anyways i'm sure if you're a ya a, a, you know around 11 to 13 maybe 15 you wouldn't you would enjoy it as a ya romance but for me personally it was just the tone of it was just a bit too young so i did end up returning that um today um at my local waterstones but i bought that and then i bought one day and then i remembered that i already own one day because i thrifted it a while back and i got it for like 50p so 
that's always a tip go and make sure you check your local charity shops or check out world of books or a lot of online secondhand retailers even amazon does used books as well so definitely if you don't want to spend too much money on a book always you can always get it secondhand and a lot of them tend to be quite good quality as well so i went there but i definitely vlogged that so here's me and my friends all at waterstones piccadilly circus <laughs> i just got in the way of someone we need the one to central london we're going to piccadilly's waterstones wow i love a patch There are cocktails here. Just evidence for Holly. Tell us what's in here. Yeah, show the name. Show the name, show the name. I did the Arabic and another language with this one. Spain, Spanish. You did the Spanish forever. I did. Wait, where is it again? Okay, my name is here. Idike India. There she is. Oh my god. Slay. I'm always ready to go to China. Period. I have to tell. Is that where you you went first? I'm gonna get she's gonna try her first pork bun. I love this. I mean the meat's like really down yeah, there, so but I don't think it began to bite on camera. I'll buy it. Oh you got some? Mm. Food review, how's it? I love the sweet and the salt. The like. There you go. <laughs> what would you rate it? Out of five? Yeah, we've got out of five. I think say four. A four. We love, we love. Room for improvement. It's cute. It's we stand. Those are really nice as well. And also, my experience with the booksellers there, they were so enthusiastic when it came to helping me find particular books with the project that I'm working on. It was a really lovely blonde girl, I can't remember her name, but she was really, really nice. And told me about how she got in contact with Coco Mellows, who excitedly has left me a little comment on my bookstagram, which I like fangled over. But she came in and signed about 100 copies and all it took was like a DM on Instagram, which was really, really cool. So if you're in around London and you want a signed copy of Cleopatra and Frankenstein, paperback version, 100% would recommend you go there and grab a copy while you can because there's only a limited few which is but it's really cool that she came down and signed all those and so the last bookshops that I went to today was the works and Waterstones. I went to Waterstones to return a book and I had a little browse around as well for more inspiration for my dissertation um, slash project and I had a lovely discussion with a bookseller there and she really went into depth with a lot of book recommendations and she was just pulling books off the shelves and I read, I read through them and I did find a few books that I liked. I didn't purchase them because I've obviously I've spent quite a bit on books from retailers but I do really miss purchasing second hand and especially if these books are going to be part of my dissertation i want to be able to like write all over them and really make them my own and i feel like if i get a second hand it'll be a lot better you know it'll just be a lot better and a lot more cost effective as well I didn't buy anything today luckily but i did go to the works initially i went to the works looking for the books the books that i recommended in waterstones but i ended up finding these books that steph boa has raved on about and i bought the first in the series the fine print by lauren asher and I started reading it and it actually kind of seems like my vibe so I might read that tonight I don't know I'll see how I kind of feel 
but yeah those are all the books and the different bookshops that i went to let me know below down below in the comments if you have visited any of these shops if you want to visit any of those shops and let me know what you're currently reading as well and i'll see you in my next video bye